Let's do this question. In a T20 cricket match, team B who batted second needs three runs to win when one ball was remaining to be bowled. Shown below are runs scored by the batsman till the last ball of the match. So here some data is given about the batsman. In the first row we have runs scored. In the second row we have number of balls. So what this data means here is batsman faced four balls in which he scored zero runs. In eight balls he scored one run. In nine balls he scored two runs. In five balls he scored three runs. And likewise the data is given and the sum of values in this row is 35. That means the batsman faced a total of 35 balls. Then if we want to find out how many runs did the batsman had scored till the last ball, we will have to find fx where we will multiply values in this row with the values in this row. So 0 into 4 is 0, 1 into 8 is 8, 2 into 9 is 18, Likewise, we have filled the values in this row and if we add these values, that means summation fx is equal to 81, then 81 will be the number of runs scored by the batsman till the last ball. What we have to find in this question is what are the odds in favor of winning the match, that is for team B. Let's discuss the approach for doing this question. So let's understand what is the meaning of odds in favor. Odds in favor of a particular event means how likely the event will happen as compared to event will not happen. For example, if odds in favor of winning the match are 1, this implies chances of not winning the match are also 1. So chances of winning or not winning a match are evenly matched. Here we will find the probability of winning the match and the probability of not winning the match and then we will find the ratio of the two probabilities to find the odds in favor of winning the match. With this approach, let's complete the solution. Number of runs required by team B to win the match is 3. To find the probability of winning the match, we need to add the probabilities of getting 3 runs or more in the last ball. So that means we will add the probabilities of getting 3 runs or 4 runs or 5 runs or 6 runs in the last ball. We know the formula for empirical probability is number of times the event occurred divided by number of trials. Let's find the empirical probability of E3 where E3 is the event of scoring 3 runs on any ball. And from the data given here we can see total number of balls faced is 35 and in 5 balls batsman scores 3 runs. So empirical probability of E3 will be 5 by 35. Similarly, we will find the empirical probability of E4 where E4 is the event of getting 4 runs on any ball and this will be 7 by 35. Then we will find the empirical probability of E5 getting 5 runs on any ball and we can see here that in none of the balls faced he scored 5 runs so this will be 0 by 35 and empirical probability of E6 that means scoring 6 runs on any ball will be 2 by 35. Team B can win if any of these events happen that means E3 or E4 or E5 or E6. So probability of Team B winning will be the sum of all these probabilities. 
so empirical probability of winning of team B will be 5 by 35 plus 7 by 35 plus 0 by 35 plus 2 by 35 is equal to 35 in the denominator and in the numerator we will have 14. After having found empirical probability of winning, it is very easy to find empirical probability of not winning. That will be equal to 1 minus the probability of winning that is 14 by 35 which will come as 21 by 35. Therefore, odds in favor of winning the match will be empirical probability of winning that is 14 by 35 upon empirical probability of not winning that is 21 by 35 this when calculated comes as 2 by 3 which is equal to 0 0.67. Let's summarize what we have learnt in this video. Odds in favor of an event allow us to compare the probability of occurrence of an event as against its non-occurrence.